नमो महावदनाय कृष्ण प्रेम प्रदायते कृष्णाय कृष्णाय परभक्ताय तवै वास्मि तवै वास्मि नजवामि तया विना पृथ्वी जय राधे तम नय कोटी एंड कोटी बात प्रणाम इन द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर नित्य लीला प्रवेश विष्णु पाठ और स्त्रोतक शिष्य मत भक्ति प्रज्ञान के सर्वस्थान सेम इन द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय स्पिरिच शिक्षा गुरु नित्य लीला प्रविष्ट हूँ विष्णुपाल अस्तोत श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी कृष्ण है कब फ्रॉम गुरुकुल वन डे climbing on the top roof of his house he sought towards vrindavan and then meeting the remembrance of past days when he was in prison In the meantime, Uddha came. Krishna took his hand. <coughs> he hand. And began to tell Uddha. वार मंत्री माय सखा माय इवन युवा शिष्य बृहस्पति बृहस्पति है टीच यू All sas, but what he did not know, Prem Tattva, he could not tell you. So I want to send in the school of Prem, where I have learned. प्रेम टेल माई समसन देश टू दे बट बाई योर वर्ड्स दे विल नॉट बी सेटिस्फाइड आई एम टेलिंग सो मेनी संदेश And you should tell them. And thus, Uddha was thinking. Krishna is sending me there, but 
Without this, I am a month I cannot stay anywhere. Krishna told Oh, I am in Mathura in part, but fully you will see. I am in Vrindavan. Don't worry. Krishna wanted that in Braj there are so many gopis. They are getting consolation to each other and thus their sufferings are divided. But what I am suffering here? Anyone cannot participate. Anyone here not knowing Brajakatha, the love and affection of Gopi Nand Baba Jasoka. So you should go and see that whole Braj is there, I am there, all the gopis and cowherd boy, all are very happy. So don't hesitate. I am fully in place. And thus, Uddha was the body color of Krishna and Uddha were same. Krishna has given his own mala. So Uddha became like Krishna. In this way, Rath was going and Krishna and Uddha were going. Then Uddha saw, Uddha told Krishna, Prabhu, you should return back. I am going. And what you have told? I will tell everything, top to bottom, and will try to spy Nanda Baba, Maja Sudha, Gop and Gopi, Prajabasi and the others. Thus, Uddhav went in Rath and Rath was going up till the dust of coming from the veils of the Rath was seen Krishna was standing there and when everything was stopped, not seen, then Krishna returned back to Mathura. But always remembering, Gopi praying, how they loved me, how Nanda Baba, how Mother, Mother Jasoda, all others, they loved me. I cannot repeat. And Brahma, one day in him, so Uthau went in Braja. At that time,
cows were coming from forests. By their trust, earth was covered. So anyone could not see the earth. Nand Baba heard. Krishna friend, Uddhav has come and he is waiting on the door. So, Nand Baba himself come and took him inside room. <coughs> No cooking at all. When Krishna has gone, cooking is stopped totally. The makasa, they have covered kitchen room. <laughs> that Shulha. The stove was covered by completely. Why to cook? At first, they used to cook for Krishna. But now, for whom? They will cook. Anyhow, Nanda Baba. Send anyone to a Brahman house. And he bring brought he without chini, because that Brahman has no chini. Sugar <laughs> is without sugar. <laughs> what to do? Anyhow, Udhav was hungry. He took that. Eh? Yes. Here without sugar, sweet rice. Without sugar. <laughs> and full of stomach. <laughs> he took it. And then anyhow, he called any boy and told that you should massage his feet. Everything was done. After that, Nanda Baba wanted to ask how my dear Krishna is. But out of what? Due to emotion, why is choked? Separation. Separation move. Why was choked? He began to weep. <coughs> and he, how after some time he told Buddha Krishna Krishna had not killed Kans. Killed Kans. Kans by his own activity. He is killed himself. So, to forget Krishna, I go to river Jamuna. Jamuna. When I go, I remember how Krishna and gopis used to meet in holiday bank. So more remembrance coming that I want to, I went to Govardhan. There I went, went.
and more remembrance coming. What to do? For what he went? He left Jamuna Bank in Govardhan more remembrance began to come. <coughs> then he used to go to Nandagaon. Oh Nandagaon <coughs> telling his all sweet past. How myself and Mother Jasoda used to love and affection Krishna. In this way, everywhere in the bridge I went to forget Krishna. But where I went, no place in the whole bridge where I will go and pacify myself. Then, weeping so, Uddha became astonished. He thought that Krishna has told me to pacify them. What should I tell? If any worldly person's son dies, then we may tell, don't worry, remember Krishna. Anyhow, he is pacified. But to whom who is weeping for Krishna, what should I tell? Don't weep. <laughs> All Shastra forbid him. Don't tell like this. And if I tell that, oh Nanda Baba Jasodama, weep more and weep more for Krishna. Then what will be? That I cannot say. So he became in dilemma. How to pacify them? He discovered uh, what from his heart, why, by what words they will be pacified, because Krishna has sent me. Then what to do? Achha. <laughs> uh, where is Janava? <laughs> oh, you can. <laughs> Regarding Krishna has gone Mathura. One Kirtani song.
आगे ना दैट सॉन्ग इज देयर लॉ मन रे लागे ना मन रो लागे ना मन रो लागे ना सखीरी मेरो श्याम बिना मन रो लागे
You have no book, you can take book and Shulgure has ordered me to give the translation of this very beautiful Hindi song. <coughs> Radha is telling her sakis, my mind is unhappy because Sham is not here. She's feeling separation that Krishna has gone to Mathura. The whole village of Braj is empty. Without Sham, the kunjas and lanes are empty. As Srila Gurudev mentioned, Buddha first went to Vrindavan and he saw everything very beautiful, the cows, the bulls were fighting over the cows and everybody was throwing cow dung patties and uh, everything was very joyful. And then the next moment, the curtain went down of Yoga Maya and then he saw everything vacant even the bumblebees were rolling on the ground and weeping. Who will play the flute so sweetly? Without Sham here, who will inspire us to dance? This is in uh, the Shikshastakam. Mahaprabhu is taking Radharani's mood. That without Krishna, without Govinda, the whole world is vacant. And every one moment seems like yugas in his absence. I go to Jamuna to take water, but without Sham, the Pan Gata, where the villagers draw their water, and where Krishna and the gopis, by signals, vow to meet each other, is empty. Perhaps Giridhari Krishna is in a sulky mood. If I don't see you for one second, I go mad. Every moment is a yuga. Without Sham, my mind is not interested in everything, anything. Radharani is the Prem Guru of even Krishna. What to speak of us, teaching us what is the perfection, that without Krishna or Krishna consciousness, everything is nothing. As that painting of Radha alone, you know that painting, she's thinking, what is the use of my youth, my beauty, my ornaments, my elaborate dress? if Krishna is not here to enjoy it. So this is the feeling of Radharani and then the Brijbasis who are uh, getting all of their bhakti from her who is Bhakti Devi, herself, the original Bhakti Devi. All the Brijbasis are feeling that everything is empty without Sham, without Krishna. And this is the scene that Uddhava saw and this is what he experienced when he went to Nanda Bhavan, when he saw that all the stoves were covered by uh, cow cobwebs and Mother Yasoda was practically like a skeleton, her eyes all sunken in. For who will we cook? So without cooking for Krishna, they are also not eating. So this is the dilemma that Srila Gurudev is explaining that Uddhava is in that he never experienced such a thing, such a love, such a separation. What will I tell him? Should I tell him not to cry? Then that would be against all the Shastras, which say that the perfection of life is to weep in separation from Krishna. Or should I tell him that he's very lucky to cry because God has become his son? So I think now Srila Gurudev will speak about how Uddhava is telling Nanda Maharaj, you're so lucky that God himself has become your son. And we'll see what Gurudev says, the so-called Ishara Bhav or God consciousness of Nanda Maharaj, Nanda Maharaj is in relation to Krishna. So, very 
Nanda Baba words. Buddha was thinking, persuaded. You should weep more and more. For oh, this is not. <coughs> Then you should weep more and more. They say no solution. What should I tell? In Uddhav dictionary, no word was found. <laughs> to pacify Nanda Baba. In the last week thought, in Sanskrit has been written, those who weep, really they are for Krishna. And he told Nanda Baba, you are very so Bhagyasi. You are very fortunate. Huh? You are very extremely fort fortunate. Only this word he told. But Nand Baba told. Uh -huh. I thought up till now you are friend of Krishna. So you are matured. <laughs> and now uh, you should know something, but I think you don't know anything. <laughs> A learned man who has heard all these things from Brihaspati, his buddhima, <laughs> intelligence, Began puljad. Huh? Yo, He told you milky teeth has not gone yet. <laughs> so, a, so much learned person, and he, Nanda Baba, telling your. Baby teeth. teeth of baby teeth. Baby teeth. <laughs> Still not done. <laughs> oh, there was a there was a Baba, and that was Dasarth. Ram went to Jai, and when he heard Ram, Haram. Why my is still eh? my life is not my why my life is still in my body uh, not coming out oh. of body because it is made of budger thunderbolt thunderbolt so what should I tell? In this way, whole night, Nanda Baba and Uddha weeping, Mother, Mother Jasoda was not closing his, uh, opening, his uh, opening her eyes. Uh, and weeping, weeping, and weeping. Thus whole night <laughs> in this development. Any Kirtan more? Anyone else? Can you any? Pankaj <laughs> can talk. <laughs> you are not here, I know. Here, Vijay. You know? 
Any kirtan? Always talking, always talking. His mouth cannot be a stop. No mala. Nothing day and night, no mala. Page number 140, new song book, page number 140, old song book 109. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> 
Person who first made me hear the name Sham. Don't when, okay. tell the meaning. <laughs> what is written there? No. Okay. Tell the meaning in. Okay. okay. So, uh, so here, uh, saying that uh, Radharani is saying. That dear Sakhi, Sai Keva Sunaila Sham Nam. So, who's that person who made me hear the name of Sham? So, so she's saying that, you know, who is that person who's singing the name of Sham? And when it entered in my heart at that time, uh, my, through my ear, I became overwhelmed and became very impatient. So, <laughs> I'm in spot, right? We cannot spot. One in chattering. Sunlight's been quite bad.
Srila Gurudev was explaining this song in Italy last year and he was weeping as he was explaining it, having the full realization of Srimati Radhika's separation, being to Dharma with her and experiencing all her moods in order that Gurudev can serve her in that realm. Feeling separation, she's saying that the name, who is it who put that name of Sham into my ears? Simply by hearing that name, my whole, all my senses are overwhelmed and my heart has become agitated. If, simply by hearing the name, such an overwhelming situation comes into my heart, then what to speak of what would happen if I touch his body. Radharani is not intentionally but teaching us by her own example that the name is non-different from Krishna. The name is actually non-different from his body. Just like we sing that song about the holy names that, oh holy name, let my uh, attraction to you increase daily. How you kill the Putana witch, you are the ocean of Ras, you perform the Rasalila. The name himself is non-different from Krishna's form. So Radharani is experiencing that. When she's experiencing separation, she's thinking that I'm not only unchaste in one way, but I'm unchaste in three ways. There's somebody who plays a flute that drives me mad. There's somebody whose name drives me mad. And there's somebody whose picture I see painted by Vishaka, and that form drives me mad. So she's the embodiment of ex the experience that the name is not different from Krishna. And she's saying, and Srila Rupa Goswami, who's also in her mood, and gave that very beautiful uh, prayer that made Lord Chaitanya so pleased with him, that when I chant the holy name, I wish that I had millions of ears and millions of tongues. All my senses become inert when the holy name enters my senses. So Srimati Radhika is also saying that my whole being is controlled by that name. My tongue cannot stop chanting it even for a moment. Even though I don't want to, still I'm forced by that name. My, all my senses are controlled. Then, at the same time, even though I don't want to meet with him, because I know he's a debauchee and I know that I'm supposed to be a chaste wife, at the same time, that holy name makes me overwhelming, overwhelmed to meet him. When will I meet him? When will I meet him? So again, the gopis, Srimati Radhika and all of her expansion gopis, are our perfect examples of how to do bhajan. So fully absorbed in the name, but they become unlimitedly eager to meet with Krishna. And saying that in a backwards way, how wonderful the uh, song of Krishna is and the name of Krishna is, that simply by hearing his name, all the chaste ladies of Vrindavan become irreligious. They lose their religious principles. Like they're uh, condemning Krishna's flute playing. That Krishna's flute is destroying the chastity of all the chaste ladies. <laughs> and Srila Gurudev, being her messenger in this world, is teaching us how to follow Radharani and the gopis in their bhajan. To forget everything else. And he said that the main word in our whole vocabulary should be when. When will I come into this mood of the uh, gopis, of the followers of Srimati Radhika? so that my only ambition is to meet Radha and Krishna in what form of Krishna serving the lotus feet of Radharani, begging for her forgiveness, begging for her darshan. So wherever he stays, how can the young women of Braj maintain their religious principles? Which actually means that the supreme religious principle is to love Krishna and the supreme chastity. All the gopis are described as the most chaste ladies, 
and any lady who's attached to any husband or any boyfriend in the name of chastity is actually completely unchaste because the only boy that any lady should be attached to or any soul, any jiva soul, is Krishna. When Gurudev gives his Gayatri initiations, he says, now know that only Krishna is your boyfriend, meaning that Radharani is my mistress and Krishna is her prananath. In my heart I want to forget him, but I cannot. Now I cannot understand what is the, mem what is the remedy, what to do. Dvija Chandida says, simply by displaying his youthful beauty, that Shamananda has destroyed the chastity of all virtuous women. So Chandidas is one of the uh, favorite Vaishnava poets of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and he would sing the songs of Chandidas in his feelings of separation at uh, Ratiyatra in the Gambira. Uh, I want to forget him, but I, I cannot. So this um, in submission of showing Krishna that I want to forget him, this is making Krishna more and more eager. Srila Gurudev gave a very beautiful pastime in 1993 in his teachings of Manushiksha that uh, Radharani is in Man and uh, she's making a garland for Krishna but Krishna is not knowing that it's for him. And he's standing there and waiting for 15 minutes, 20 minutes for her to look up at him. And she's becoming so pleased, but she doesn't want to show it. So she starts uh, pretending to fix her nose ring to cover up her smile in pleasure that he's suffering without her. So everything is, Prem is just like a snake. It's very crooked. There's pretending that I'm not in love, which increases the love and saying that I want to forget him, but I cannot forget him, and being eager at every moment to be with him. So much uh, apparent contradictory emotions, Kila Kinchi Tabab and so many emotions that Srila Gurudev said our whole ambition of life is to serve those moods of Srimati Radhika and her um, separation from Sri Krishna. So we're so fortunate that Srila Gurudev has come from the Nikunjas, who's always engaged in looking through the creepers and waiting for the right moment to come in and serve. Poor Premanandi. Oh, This afternoon, just over an hour ago, Shula Gurde witnessed, he just saw the book table. I don't know if everybody's seen the book table yeah. lately, but it's empty. Gurde yeah. was very, very, very pleased. Very pleased. That is three pallets of books. Three pallets. That is approximately uh, half a container almost of books that we distributed at this festival. The most books ever distributed at any festival around the world. And that was in two days. Record set. But, thank you, buddy. We have 2011 calendars left. 2011, this is the first time, by the way, that we came out with the calendar six months before the year begins. So, it is available. We'd like to encourage all the traveling devotees, the preachers, uh, the sannyasis, maharajas, everybody to take these calendars, 2011 calendars. And if you do not, then bhaktistore.com will make them available worldwide. <laughs> Next announcement, also I'd like to make two, two last announcements. We have G-Clays over here, these big G-Clays.